Hey guys, welcome back to Fusion Fortnite. In, in the last episode of Fusion Fortnite, I taught you how to uh, draw your own Thor spinner in Fusion 360. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I actually uh, applied the tool pass and cut this out on my CNC milling machine at home. Remember, these files are free to download in the link below or the previous video where I taught you um, how to, um, to draw this. In our drop down box here, we want to pick up Cam. You can see I've got three setups, OP1, OP2, and OP3. In OP1, uh, that car it's currently the active subfolder. You'll see I've got a face, a bore, contour, bore, 2D contour, and the list goes on. Let's get started. Let's simulate that. So to simulate it, you'll notice that my cap head screws are in the road and the bearings in the road. So we need to turn a few of these off just to clean up our design so we don't have a cluttered work environment. And all we want to turn on is at the moment is our Thor spinner. What you can see around the Thor spinner is the stock when I click there. If yours is not the active subfolder, remember, click on OP1 and click the button and that becomes active. In our simulate, I'm going to turn the stock on and I'll turn the info on. You can see my depth of cut as I'm doing it. Now, you may not have a 50 mm shell mill and you may just have access to a 10 or 12 mil end mill. So if you wanted to, you could always edit that toolpath uh, down here where it says face, right click on it and go edit and change your cutting tool in the list there for the one that you have. Okay, so let's simulate those toolpaths now. Stock on, info on, and here we go. 50 mil shell mill will take three passes. You'll notice I'm going past the point. So I turned on, um, I believe it's called pass extension. Next up was the 2D boring strategy, followed by the 2D contour cleanup. Now in the tutorial, I, taught, um, I showed you to actually draw the inside diameter slightly undersized. And that way then the bearing should just press in after this operation, okay? Next up is the two, is the, um, it's a four millimeter end mill, sorry. And that's gonna be a 2D boring cycle to bring that, to bring those balls close to, I believe, five mil. Next is a 2D contour that will come in and now clean those holes up to six mil, allowing the six mil cuphead bolt. Now in my original model that you saw me to, uh, hold up, I had the holes in the handle. This was the design flaw on my behalf and I've since moved them and when I moved them, I, that's the way I taught you to draw it. So don't panic, you don't have to go back and change the model. Um, this is a six mil spot mill, and we're using that just to deburr the part, get it nice and clean, you can see it here. Now, at this point in time, you may want to um, flip your part in the vise and just simply, okay, flip your part, reset your Z height, and run your face mill on the back side. Usually I prefer to face the bottom first, then flip it and then start all my operations on the top. Uh, I suggest you talk to your CNC teacher who will show you the, uh, the correct way to do it as well. As always, don't trust my tool speeds and feeds. You need to check them for yourself and ensure that you match your machine's capabilities. Once again, check with your CNC instructor for that. Okay. We're going to do the fixture plate now. So we're going to activate that subfolder. We're going to turn the fixture plate on and turn off the Thor spinner. Let's simulate those tool paths. Stock on. Turn the info on. You can watch my height. You'll notice that my G54 is always set to the center of the part. And here we go. Once again, three passes. I've got the pass extension turn on. I believe I get my shell mill to go past and that way I don't leave dirty uh, cutting edges on the side. Uh, that boring strategy to bring that bring those holes out to five mil, and in that boring strategy, I'm pretty sure I've got the leave stock behind option turned off. So over here, I think it's the third. Ah, stock to leave. It's turned off. There you go. Okay. Very last but not least, guys, is when you start putting it all together, because your fixture plate will stay in the vise. Do not take it out once you do those ops straight away bolt your part in. Now, if you're running a class set of these with your mates, uh, remember guys, run the entire class through of this one first of the spinner before you put the fixture plate in. 
Once the class set is done, have them stacked up, put your fixture plate in, and then you can just run the second parts, all right? Otherwise, you're chopping and changing all the time. You've got to reset up the G54. It will speed it up, and you should, you should be able to punch these out in a standard, I'd say a standard one to two hour class for a class of about 20 students. All right, activate the subfolder. Let's, uh, let's look at that, guys. A little bit more work going on here. It's gonna be a little bit more busier. Okay, I'm gonna rough all these out. I believe it was with the 10 mil end mill. Okay, you can use the 38 end mill if you want. Just remember to change the tool in the tool pass section. Uh, 2D adaptive clearing, guys, up to here. And I'm gonna speed that up a little bit for you. You can see it working, it's magic. And that's the 2D contour where I cut it all the way down. You can actually see here um, when I get my Z height that I'm at 9.525. So I'm using stock plate, which is 10 mil thick, and bringing it down to 3.8. In my video, I used half inch plate because that's all I had at home for the video. And I had to um, surface it quite a lot to get it down to size. So I suggest you guys buy in some 10 mil plate and that way then you'll get your 3.8 height, which is you know, 9.525, whatever it is. Okay, so we cut it out with the 2D contour. Um, we then come straight in now with the, I think we do two passes of that, we repeat the finishing pass, then we come in and we put that lovely chamfer on the outside. That contour. And you'll notice here guys that in my heights, I've actually ensured that I set the height up so the, the chamfer bit, if it traverses across the part, will miss those cap heads. Once again, do not trust my uh, setup. You need to check this for yourself, okay? Get your CNC instructor or you, you know your teacher to check them, please. Once you do that, you'll actually undo your three bolts. So once again, I would suggest you run all that through with the class before you come in and flip your part. And uh, once you flip your part, you'll just be running that 2D contour uh, again, okay? Just to clean up that outside edge. Personally, I would just deburr the ID and those other three cap heads on the other side with a handheld deburring tool. It'll make it a bit quicker. Let's go to the machine and let's uh, watch me cut this out in action.